Hey everybody, this is Mr. Owl with another how-to video. This time around we're going to play the dice game Skunk. Um, I'm going to start playing the game pretty quickly, but there's a couple things I want to mention. This game goes back to 1953, and the reason it's called Skunk is because the number one used to be a picture of a... They took the one off the die and they replaced it with a skunk. And every time you rolled a one or a skunk, you lost all your points. So, best way to explain this game is just start playing, and then I will answer any questions along the way. Okay, the goal, really simple here. My little scorecard, this is how simple it has to be. Person on the left, person on the right, and then you just keep track of their points. And you play to a hundred. Okay. So, what you're going to do is both people throw two dice, whoever has the highest number. So, 6 and 3 is a 9, 2 and 2 is a 4, so the person with the 9 would get to go first. So, let's say that's me. So, every time I roll the dice, I, can, I have two options. I could take this 9 points. The goal, again, is to get to 100. So, either I can take these 9 points and bank them, which means put them on the, the score sheet, I get 9 points, and then they're safe. Okay? When I do that, however, I have to give up control, and player 2 or your opponent gets to roll the dice. That's the trade-off. So, on one hand, it's safe to take the points. On the other hand, you give up control of the game. So, I have 9. Let's say I roll again. And again. I rolled a 1, so that means now I'm back to 0. So that those points I just earned are now gone. So anytime you roll a 1, you're, on that turn you go back to 0. If you roll a 1 and a 1, it doesn't matter what score you have. Could be 25, could be 50, could be 99. If you roll a 1 and a 1, you go back to 0 and you have to start all over again and play to 100. Uh, can you go more than 100? And the answer is yes. If I get 102 points, then I have to allow the opponent to actually beat me and get 103 points or more. Of course, if they roll 1 anywhere along the way, they have 0 and they don't get any points. So, here we go. Let's play. So, I have 11. I'm going to go again. Ooh, and 12. So that is 23. So I'm going to bank that. So I have 23 points. I'm going to put that right there. So that means I bank it. I, those points are safe unless I roll a 1 and a 1 at some point. Then they all disappear. And then I give my turn to the uh, my opponent. Let's say they roll and they get uh, 20. Okay, so now it's 23-20. So now I get to roll again. I have 11, I'm going to go one more, 11, 12, 13, 19, okay, that would be 42 points, all right, and then let's say my opponent gets another 20, so now they have 40, and again, that's pretty much how you play the game. Okay, so I would have 42, my opponent would have 40. Now there's a couple ways you can play it. You can play it where you can go up to 100 and stop and then just play one game or you can play you know two out of three games so in other words if you play three games whoever wins two you can play three out of five or you can play to a point total instead of a hundred you can play to 200 or 250 or 500 or whatever you would like all right now this game was addition okay which means you start at zero you go up to a hundred um, as the older you get so let's say first and second graders are on the top but again these numbers um, and variations are very arbitrary, and I'm just putting, you know, something down here. Third, fourth, and fifth grade, you can do addition just like the, the younger kids. Subtraction, so you start with 100, you go down to 0. So let's say I have 100, I, I roll a 5 and a 5, which is a 10, and I bank that. Then I, I would go down to 90, and then obviously if you get to 0, you win. With multiplying, instead of adding, you're obviously multiplying. So let's say you get a 5 and a 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Um, you start with 0. You go up to 200. Last but not least, you have the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. You can either do the addition. You can do the subtraction. You can do the multiplication. You can do all of them. Or you can multiply and then subtract. So what I mean by that is let's say you're starting with 200 and, you're, and your goal is to get to 0. 
I roll a 5 and a 5, which is 5 times 5 is 25, which is right here. You subtract the 2, you're down to 175. And then again, your goal is to get to 0. Okay, so um, it's a very nice game. Try all of the variations. Oh, one thing I want to uh, impart some some wisdom here when it comes to mathematics. If you have one die, you have a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. So your chances of rolling a one obviously is one out of six, which is 17%. However, you're, you are throwing two dice. So if you roll, let's say a six and a five on the first row, and a four and a three on the next roll, and then a two and a one on the next roll, that means mathematically you will, chances are very good, you will throw a one in every three throws. Okay, so you this is this game is all about risk and reward. So if you roll and roll and roll and roll and you are lucky enough not to get a one, you can accumulate points very quickly. However, all it takes is one die for you to lose all of your points. So again, you know, risk, reward. This game is fun because there is some strategy and it's also luck as well. Okay, so I think that's everything I wanted to cover. If you have any questions, just put it in YouTube and I will certainly return um, with a response. Always do. Okay, so thank you for your time. Appreciate it. On to the next video. Have a good one, folks.